Peace be upon you, my dear students. Purpose Welcome to be with you, Ms. Amal Maruf, to explain curriculum of science in language school. Uh, first, I very happy to be with you, and I wish to be happy with me to explain this curriculum first term. Let's start. In first term, we will talk about four units. Now, we will talk about one of the very important units, which we will talk about force and motion. Let's start. Our title today is force and motion. The first lesson we will talk about motion in one direction. The title has very important concept, which is called motion. What are the objectives of this lesson? First, we will describe the motion and identify distance, time and speed. We will distinguish between regular motion and irregular motion and know some concepts as regular speed, irregular speed and average speed. Then we'll solve some problems about regular speed. First, I will ask you one question. What are the state of the object? Objects have two states. One of them is a static object. Number two, in motion. As you see in the picture, the cupboard is in static or in at rest. This means that this object doesn't move from place to another place. When the object is in motion as car or train in front of you, it will move from place to another place. I uh, forget uh, to uh, welcome with Ahmed, Muhammad, uh, Ali, uh, Minna, Ziad, Marwan. Let's continue. So we have two states of the object. Number one, static object. Number two, objects in motion. What is the meaning of motion? Motion, it is the change in the position in relation to reference point. What does this mean? When the object moves from place to another place, as, for example, person or cat or any object, will start motion from this point. Then it will move to another object. The first point is called starting point. And the second point is called final point. This motion can be determined according to reference point. Reference point, which the point which we must pass it to reach to the end point. When the object moves from this point to another point, so its position it changes. And we will talk about this object and they can describe it with object in motion. From this, we can conclude that motion is a change in the position in relation to reference point. For example, when I travel from Fayum to Cairo, from Cairo to Alexandria, from Aswan to Cairo, there are many starting points and ending points. Each example of them is called motion. Why? Because the position of object, it changes from a starting point to ending point. Second, we will talk about types of motion. In previous year, prep two, we talk about some types of motion. What are these types of motion? Number one, transitional motion. Number two, periodic motion. How can we differentiate between the two types of motion as we talked about them in previous year? Transition motion, as you see in the figure, you have school bus, some trays, and a person. What happens to this person is called reference point. The car in motion, which object is in motion? School bus, but the object at risk. The school bus will pass by this person or this man. So this man is called a reference point or this girl is called a reference point. The school bus, it changes its rest 
or its starting point and reach it to ending point. So transitional motion, it is the motion of an object from starting point to ending point related to reference point. Maybe in a straight line as school paths, as train motion, as car motion, and maybe in curved line. So transitional motion can be determined with a starting point and ending point. Maybe this object moves in a straight line or in curved line or path of zone, as we talked about them in BRIP2. Second type of motion, periodic motion. What is the meaning of periodic motion? Periodic motion, it is the motion which repeated itself regularly in equal intervals of time. There are many examples of periodic time. Periodic time can be represented by three types, motion in circle, wave motion, and oscillatory motion. We talked about oscillatory motion and wave motion in previous year, but now we will talk about only transitional motion, not periodic motion. In front of you, an example of periodic motion as motion of planets around the sun, motion of moon around Earth, and motion of fan. All of these are called periodic because the object repeated its motion regularly in equal intervals of time. So motion can be classified into two types, transitional and periodic. In this term, we will talk about only transition motion and has one example which is called motion in one direction. Motion in one direction is the semblance to form of transitional motion. Any question in this part? I will receive your question on chat and will respond to them. How can we describe the movement of some object around us? There are many objects make the motion or make movement, but some of them can be described as fast object and the other we can describe their motion as slow motion. From this, we can know how can we describe the motion of this object by two factors. What are these factors? Number one, fast object. Number two, slow object. The motion of horse in front of you can be described as fast motion, while the motion in front of you in second picture can be described as slow motion. Why? Why we can describe figure number one as fast motion and figure number two as slow? Due to what? Due to two factors. What are these factors? Speed which can be described by the two factors, distance and time. Distance with time, they are the two factors which are used to describe the motion as fast motion and slow motion. So speed is a physical quantity. Hawaii speed is called the physical quantity because we can measure it. It has measuring tool to measure speed, which is called speedometer and has measuring unit, which we will talk about it next. Speed is a physical quantity which is used to describe and compare the motion of the object. Again, speed is a physical quantity which is used to describe and compare the motion of the object. For example, fast object or slow object. So we can define speed as the distance moved through unit time or the distance covered by an object in unit time. If I to describe the motion of any object, this object covers distance in certain time. So we can describe this object, maybe move fast or slow from physical quantity, which is called speed. Speed, it is the distance covered by the object in unit time. As in front of you, this car moves the distance in certain time to, to reach to the final point or to the ending point. So we can describe the motion of this car by two factors. One of them, the distance covered by the object, 
and the time taken by it to reach to the ending point. Distance and time is used to determine the speed, which is a physical quantity that is used to describe the motion. So we explain the motion, then explain the factors which are used to describe the motion. Because there is an example. I will ask you which of them move faster, Ahmed and Amira. Ahmed covered the distance 200 meters in time three minutes. But Amira covered the distance 200 meters in time five minutes. I will receive your answer. Which of them is faster than the other? Yes, who can answer? Which of them is faster than the other? Ahmed or Amira? Jana said Ahmed. Excellent. Why Ahmed is faster than Amira? Yes, Ahmed very happy because it is faster than Amira. Why? Because both of them cover the same distance. But Ahmed covered this distance in shorter time than Amira. It covered 200 meters in three minutes. But Amira covered 200 meters in five minutes. So Ahmed faster than Amira. Excellent, Ahmed. Another example. Which of them move faster? Ahmed or Amira? In this case, Ahmed covered distance 100 meters in time five minutes. But Amira covered distance 200 meters in time five minutes. What is the difference between this example and the previous example? I will receive your answer. Which of them is faster than the other? Ahmed or Amira in this case? Yes? Excellent, my dear students. Now, Amira is faster than Ahmed. Why? Because they covered different distance in the same time. But Ahmed covered shorter distance than Amira in the same time. So Amira is faster than Ahmed. Excellent, Amira. From this, we can conclude that there are two factors necessary for the description of motion. One of them is distance and the other is time. There are many questions in this part. For example, complete the two factors which are necessary for descri description of motion, space and space. You will answer distance and time. How can we calculate speed? We can calculate speed by law. Speed equals distance over time. Distance over time. Because speed has direct relation with distance and indirect relation with time. When I cover distance in a small or in shorter time, this means that my, I am very fast or the speed increases. So speed has indirect relation with time, but direct relation with distance. Speed equal distance of over time. Speed can be represented by V letter because its name may be velocity. Speed can be represented by V. Distance can be represented by D. Time can be represented by t. Speed can be measured by speedometer. In front of you, there is a figure represents speedometer, which is found in the course. What are the measuring units of speed? Measuring units of speed, number one, kilometer per hour, meter per second. If there are two measuring units, of speed, kilometer per hour, meter per second. Only, they are the only measuring units for speed? No, we have another measuring unit for speed. For example, kilometer per second and meter per minute. Meter per minute. And kilometer per second. How can we change from kilometer per hour 
to meter per second. To change from kilometer per hour to meter per second, must multiply 5 over 80. Why kilometer equal 1,000 meter divided hour contains 60 minutes. Each minute contains 60 seconds. If, uh, divided 60, multiply 60. Equal 5 over 80. If a tool change from kilometer per hour to meter per second, multiply 5 over 80. The two change from meter per second to kilometer per hour, the opposite. Multiply 18 over 5. We are measuring units of speed kilometer per hour, meter per second. To change from kilometer per hour, multiply 5 over 18. To change from meter per second to kilometer per hour, multiply 18 over 5. Which thing has speed kilometer per second? Only one object, which is called light. The light, it is the only, the object has speed with kilometer per second. Now we have an example. Example number one, a sprinter runs at the speed of eight meter per second, finds the distance covered by him in 10 seconds. I will receive your answer. Try to answer this example. You have one minute. First, I will write the given from the example. The given, the sprinter runs at the speed, if I have the speed, is equal eight meter per second. Find the distance, a distance unknown physical quantity. A time, 10 seconds. What is the law? Law, a distance equal speed multiply time. Why? Because speed equal distance over time. Type. If I have a distance, a distance equal speed multiply time. I'm a substitution for speed. If I equal 8, multiply 10 equal 80 meter. 8 multiply 10 equal 80 meter. Question number two. Example number two. Train covers 40 meter in two seconds. Find its speed in kilometer. Given the Udemy speed unknown physical quantity, a distance 40 meter, a time two seconds. To find the speed, write the law. Speed equal distance over time. Distance 40 time 2, 40 over 2 equal 20 meter per second. This example is not ended. Why? Because in this example, he asks you to find the, sp the speed in kilometer per hour, but I calculate it in meter per second. So we must change it from meter per second to kilometer per hour. How? By multiplying 18 over 5. 20 speed in meter per second, multiply 18 over 5 equal 72 kilometer per hour. Another example. Train starts to move at 8 o'clock in the morning. Then what is the time of arrival? If it moves at a speed of 50 km per hour to cover distance of 200 kilometers. Given of this example, journey is starting at 8 morning, 8. The speed equal 50 km per hour. The covered distance equal 200 meters. I ask you about the time of arrival. It is starting it, it started the motion at 8 o'clock. What is the time of the arrival? First, we must measure the time taken by the train to cover this distance. How? Time equals distance over velocity. As velocity equals distance over time, so time equals distance over velocity. Distance equals 200. And velocity equals 50. So the time taken by the train, four hours. Type. What is the time of arrival? It started the journey at eight o'clock. Then it will reach to the final point at clock plus 
4 equal 12 o'clock. It will reach at 12 o'clock p.m. Any question? Now we will talk about another important part in this lesson, which is called types of speed. Speed has many types that are used to describe the motion of the object. This type. Number one, regular speed. Number two, irregular speed. What is the meaning of regular speed and irregular speed? We will talk about example to know the meaning of regular speed. When an object covers distance, for example, 10 meter in one second, then it covers 20 meter in two seconds. After that, 30 meter in three seconds. Finally, 40 meter in four seconds. What does this mean? I can calculate the speed of each period of time. Speed in the first period equal d over one. A d over one equal 10. Low 10 over one equal 10. 20 over two equal 10. 30 over three equal 10. 40 over 4 equal 10. What does this mean? The velocity is constant at any period of time. This means that this object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. If when the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, this means that it moves with regular speed. In the second example, Regular speed. The object covers distance 10 meter in one second, then 20 meter in 1.5 second. After that, 30 meter in 2.5 second, 40 meter in 4 second. What does this mean? The velocity in the first period, or in the first case, 10 meter per second, then 13.3. After that, 12. V4 equal 10 meter per second. This means that it is different velocity, which is the object moves with them in these periods. In photorot D, here, the first period, the object moves with 10 meter per second. Second period moves with 13.3. The third period moves with 12. The fourth period moves with 10 meter per second. But when the object covers 10 meter in one second, then covers 13.3 meter in the same second. After that, 12 meter in one second, 10 meter in one second, if it covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time. If a first case, the object covers the same distance in the same period of time. But in the second example, it covers different distance in the same period of time. First can be described as regular speed, but in second figure represented by a regular speed. Regular speed means it is the speed by which the object moves when it covers equal distance at equal periods of time. But a regular speed, it is the speed by which the object moves when it covers unequal distance at equal intervals of time, or the opposite, equal distance at unequal intervals of time. Okay, if, uh, there are two types of speed. One of them is called regular, and the other is called irregular. Regular speed when the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. But we can describe the motion of another object with irregular speed, when it covers equal distance at unequal intervals of time or unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Give reason. We can't describe the motion of an object with regular speed practically. This means that any object can't move with regular speed. This means that it can't cover the equal distance in equal intervals of time. Why? Car can't cover can't cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. Train can't cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. The man can't 
cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. Why? Due to conditions of route, as traffic jam, any accident happens in the route, maybe any damage in the car. All of these are the reasons or conditions which prevent the object to move with regular speed. OK, in this question, we can describe the motion of an object with regular speed practically due to conditions of route. Yes, so all object moves with irregular, not regular speed. Note, an electromagnetic waves as light travels with a constant speed in space equal 3 multiplied 10 power 8 meter per second. In previous part of this lesson, we talked about measuring unit of his speed. We know that there are many measuring units of his speed as meter per second, kilometer per hour. And we know that there is only one object that moves with kilometer per second. This object is light or electromagnetic waves. An electromagnetic waves can move with speed equal 3 multiplied 10 power 5 kilometer per second. The only object can move with kilometer per second is electromagnetic waves or light, and it is constant in space. What is meant by another question? What is meant by car moves with speed equal 80 kilometer per hour? This means that the car covers 80 kilometer every one hour. This means that the cars cover or the car covers 80 kilometer every one hour. When the speed of an object equal to cover distance, who can answer this question? I will receive your answer on the chat. Yes. Who can answer this question? When the speed equals the distance? When the distance equal the speed. Yes. Who can answer? The speed of an object equal the covered distance when it moves in unit time. This means that time equal one if LV equal D over time. When the time equal one, this means that the velocity or the speed equal distance. But when the time equal one, or when it covers in unit time, this means that the speed of the object equal the distance covered by it. Jana, ask me one question. Explain this part. I will explain it again. An electromagnetic waves, it is the only thing that travels with constant speed as light. We talked about waves in previous year. We know that wave can be classified into electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. An electromagnetic waves travels in space with constant value. Constant value or constant speed equals 3 multiplied 10 power 8 meter per second or 3 multiplied 10 power 5 kilometer per second. It is constant value. So it is the only thing is which can be measured by speed kilometer per second and meter per second. Now we have some question about this part and ask you to answer this question. Write the scientific term that corresponds to each of the following statements. The distance that a moving object covers within time unit. This concept refers to what? Who can answer? Who can answer this question? Yes, speed, excellent. Speed is the distance that a moving object covers within unit time. Question number B. Moving object covers the equal distance at equal periods of time. Moving object covers equal distance at equal intervals of time. This concept is regular speed. Question number two, write suitable word to complete the following sentences. The result of multiplying the speed of a moving object by time. Speed by time. Yes. Speed multiply time equal distance. Question number B. Space is defined as the covered distance with in unit time. Covered distance with in unit time. This definition of what? Yes. Excellent, Ahmed. Excellent, Jana. Bravo, Aliko. 
مصطفى اهلا اهلا سبيد از ديفايند از ذا كفر ديستنس ويز ان يونت تايم سبيد ميجرمنت يونتس اليونتس مي بي متر بير سكند كيلو متر بير اور اور متر بير مينيت اند كيلو متر بير سكند بات ذا يوز ذا ميجرنج يونت متر بير سكند اند كيلو متر بير اور ان ذس بارت وي توكد اباوت سام كونسبتس نمبر 1 سبيد نمبر 2 Units of speed. Number three, regular speed and irregular speed. At the end of this lecture, I wish you very happy with me, and I wish uh, this year to be very successful uh, years with you, Miss Amal Maruf. Good night and thank you.